A violin like this one that was made in 1685, which is called the Becker of Florentino because of two past owners that played on it, is worth $5 million. So this is made by Antonio Stradivarius himself when he was 41 years old. Yeah, the violin was built in 1685, so it's 332 years old. You travel it in a case, you hold it like this, you could handcuff the, the, the handle to your hand. You have to be very careful, never leave it out of your sight. Some famous musicians like Yoyoma left their cello in a taxi cab in New York, but luckily they found it later. But this is, uh, this is the scary thing about it, you have to, to hold on to it when you travel with it. Antonio Stradivarius for music and violin maker is like Leonardo da Vinci. Somehow every painter, every sculptor is related in his style or in his activity to Leonardo da Vinci because this is really the golden, the golden number from the, from the, 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 the Italian and post-Italian Renaissance. And this is not probably, people think that it's calculated, but it's the natural golden number that we have in our eye. And this harmony is very harmonious to look at and also creates an incredible sound. So it all goes together. It has been 33 years of my life playing violin. It's practically one of languages I speak. And um, it's unique language that everyone can understand. So I did study in Ukraine, I did study in Switzerland. I did work in Germany, in Switzerland, in China, and uh, from those past years being in Switzerland, in China, and in Malta, yeah, obviously, violin became more and more uh, language to bring more people, to unite more people, and to let them talk the language of music.